Paul Tang, Dutch MEP. Good morning to you. Good morning. You believe, Paul, that Ireland is a, ta- a hub for tax avoidance. Why do you say that? Um, well, uh, we're visiting with the European Parliament, uh, Ireland, um, and we're not just visiting Ireland. We look at several European countries. We look at the, pro- the problems within the European borders, and there are some countries that attract a lot of foreign direct investments, uh, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Ireland. And the problem is not the foreign direct investment itself. I know that Ireland has gained a lot from foreign direct investment like Google and Facebook. Uh, but it's what you could call phantom investment, right? It's investment on paper, but is only intended to avoid taxes. And that is costing the taxpayers in, uh, in Germany and France and elsewhere uh, a lot of money. Okay, um, uh, just in response, people would say, well, like, yeah, yeah, we undoubtedly had a lot of these, mate, like the double, the famous double Irish, but they, a lot of those loopholes, like in your own country of the Netherlands, a lot of those countries have been, a lot of those loopholes, I should say, have been closed. Uh, well, um, I'm not so sure about that, actually, because we still see that the foreign direct investment is very high, and it was not that long ago that uh, the CSO, the statistical office, said, one third of the foreign direct investment in Ireland is phantom. And phantom investment, like I said, is this investment on paper that is intended to avoid taxes or even worse to launder money. So uh, in, uh, in the Pandora papers, it was revealed that there were 800 companies at one address, um, only uh, uh, mainly Russian, by the way. So I think it's not easy to turn around. I see also that in my own country, I come from the Netherlands. Yeah. The Netherlands wants to change. Uh, they decided to really make the distinction between real investment and phantom investment. But to make that change takes a lot of time because the Netherlands is a hub, and you're not uh, that is done not done overnight, right? So to say, and I fear the same situation is in Ireland. You need to do a lot. Okay, what about this this move? The OECD standards, the corporate tax rate increasing from twelve to fifteen percent. Will that not go some way towards addressing the concerns you raise? Absolutely, absolutely. But that mainly uh, concerns uh, the, the really large multinational, and you have quite a few uh, in in Ireland. So that's I think very helpful to stop the race to the bottom. Um, but then again, it's not just uh, the, the largest corporations that benefit from loopholes in a tax system it's also the very the very rich or the smaller companies and that's why you also need to for uh, target for example shell companies and those are these companies that seem to be companies but are no, nothing lo- uh, nothing less but constructions to avoid taxes so, in uh, I- so there, there's, a, there's a lot to be done okay and, and uh, just finally in an ideal world what would you like to see happen paul well first i, w- I would like the island to to be a, a real European partner, for example, introduce the minimum corporate effective tax rate, even though Hungary is uh, is blocking it. So let's try not to uh, give into the blackmail by Hungary. And second, uh, go after um, the shell companies. And third, make sure that the money that flows through Ireland, but also through the Netherlands and, and, and Luxembourg, for that matter, uh, is 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 being uh, is being taxed so that. Ireland and the Netherlands and Luxembourg are not the places you, you go to to, uh, to launder money or to avoid taxation. OK, we'll leave it there. Paul Tang, Dutch MEP, member of the Progressive Alliance of Socialists and Democrats group within the European Parliament.